Hey guys, uh, so this is the second part of the re-sculpting a horse. Um, we have the heater on right now, and I know it's kind of loud, but um, it's super cold here right now. So you're going to have to work around that and just deal with it. Uh, so here's the horse that I have from the first video. A couple of things that you're going to need is two-part epoxy sculpt. Um, they come in this size, which is the 8 ounce size. They also come with a 16 ounce. And then I think there's like a 36 ounce. But um, it's a two part mixture. And it works and acts exactly like clay. So when you take a piece of this and a piece of this and you mix them together and mix it up real good, it starts to harden. And of course, it takes a good day to two days for it to fully harden. Um, so that's one of the important stuff. Uh, you're also going to need some sandpaper. Uh, this is 220 grit. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut just a piece of it off. And you're going to go and just file around the edge of the area where you cut, if you did. Just to get rid of any sharp edges that may be sticking out. So just like that, um, you're going to need some water and then you're going to take just enough of your two-part mixture. You don't need a whole lot, so just take kind of like a pinch of each one. So I've got like a little ball here. And then of course, you know, another option is um, having tools to sculpt with. Some people don't use it. They use their fingers. They use uh, practically anything that they can find, really. But um, just go with what you like and so forth. And uh, so, yeah. But anyways, I had two balls roughly about the same size of the epoxy sculpt. And now I'm mixing it. And as you mix it, it will start to warm because it is through your fingers and because it's two-part mixture. The hardener will actually warm up the epoxy slightly so it will start to mold and mix better. Like this. So you got to just make sure it's super mixed. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this and we're going to fill it in. The horse's neck. And this is basically just enough just to fill the area where you're going to have to re-sculpt his head, you know. you know it is gonna look funny because um, you know it's gonna need adjusting and, and uh, sculpt work but you just want to try to fill in the area just enough so that when it hardens there's something for stability for it and then of course you may decide that the neck is actually a little bit too long which in this case, it is for this horse just a slight bit. So what I actually may do is later on, um, I'll cut off part of this head here and I'll re-sculpt that. But this is basically what you do. And of course, you know, you do need to take into consideration the confirmation, um, of the neck and so forth. So 
So there's a little bit too much there, so I'm going to take that off. A little bit too thick for my liking. about epoxy sculpt is is that it is sandable so if you find an area that's just too high you can just sand it down which is nice so what I need to do is I actually need to make a little increase here because this is where the shoulder is and I need to make sure that I identify that in this mold so you can see a little bit there. Now of course this will take several hours to work this to get it to a point where I'm actually happy with it. Um, and you know, just mess around with it, take your time, um, don't rush anything, stuff like that. Just mellow out and just have fun and busting around, making a mess all over the horse. Um, So, yeah, I mean, you know, you just mess around, work with it, let the clay do the job for you. There we go. Okay, so that's okay for that. And, you know, like I said, it will take several hours for this to hard, or overnight, really, for it to harden. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to start layering some main on uh, the areas that I don't need to worry about the part drying because I do have extra part here and I don't want to waste it. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and layer some main on and with mains it's the same thing so what you do is you can roll up things like this this is just a, the piece of clay that I rolled in my fingers to make it a little bit thin and what you do is you just place it on the model like so and you just press it down smooth it out and just bend the main piece where you want it to go like so. And you just keep doing this and of course you know you can smooth it out um, like if you want it to be a, a joined mane where you don't see a lot of the individual hairs you can smooth it out. Um, there's lots of options for mane work. You do got to take into consideration where your horse's head is so that when you're doing the re-sculpt, you don't make a giant mistake of making the mane look flat when the horse is actually moving. So you can see I've just started to add some mane there. Um, and then of course, you know, all of this back here will get sanded down. Um, and then I'll probably need more re-sculpt work, but, um, you know, you just got to take your time, just look at reference photos, stuff like that, especially if you're unsure if something is correct looking. And then 
I'm going to smooth out the main here. And it does work exactly like clay. So, um, you know, like I said, it does work like clay and it shapes and molds and bends exactly like clay would so you can draw little hairs in the main um, stuff like that so that's basically what you do um, that's how you start it and of course you know there is sanding and more sculpt work involved and uh, just taking your time and getting it done and working on it and, and uh, stuff like that but um, yeah so that's basically what you do and you can do this for tails you can do this for manes um, and so forth stuff like that now if you wanted to remove the whole tail in general that's a whole nother video tutorial that's a very long video tutorial on how to do something like that because it involves drilling and wiring and all that stuff. So, yeah, but if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll do the best I can to help you out.